اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان اللہ و ملائکته یصلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلم تسلیما اللہم صلی علی محمد و آلی محمد و اجل فرجہم سلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ We are extremely thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the ability to learn, gain knowledge about our beautiful religion and pass it on to others. We are also very thankful and blessed to have all of you joining us today. The purpose of Imam Asar Academy is to provide free online Islamic and Quranic classes for all ages for people who want to learn and better themselves, as there is no age for learning. So if you want to learn, gain knowledge, and better yourself, this is the perfect place for you to join. We will cover many topics in these classes, which includes Tajweed al-Quran, interpretation of the Holy Quran, reciting du'as, all ziyarat, and small Quranic surahs correctly with proper pronunciation and tajweed. Then we will eventually teach Arabic and the most important, which is the interpretation of Najul Balagha, which is the most important need of today. As you all know, Nahajul Balagha is hard to understand unless someone having enough knowledge of Nahajul Balagha guide and teach us. We have with us today Alima Hafiza Rabia Fatima, who is Hafiza e Quran and Hafiza e Nahajul Balagha. She also has a degree in Islamic jurisprudence, commandments, literature, theology, languages, and history. Currently, she is part of many organizations, both nationally and internationally, as a teacher. And she also teaches kids and adults how to read Quran, memorize Quran, and the interpretation of the Holy Quran. And she also holds a master's degree in psychology. Last week, we learned how to recite Hadith Kisa with the rules of Mad. We will continue with our class today, inshallah. Let's start our class with a dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbish Rahli Swadri Wayasirli Amri. وَحْلُلْ أُغْدَةً مِّلْ لِسَانِي يَفْقَهُ كَوْلِي رَبِّي زِدْنِي إِلْمَا وَإِلْحِكْنِي بِالصُّعَالِهِينَ O Allah, increase our knowledge and unite us with the righteous, insha'Allah. With a loud salawat, let's welcome our dearest Alima Hafiza, Rabia Fatima. Allahumma swalli ala Muhammadiyum wa Ali Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum. A'udhu billahi s-sami'u al-ali min ash-shaytuan al-lahin al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين وهو الستار العيوب وغفار الذنوب وهو المجيد والصلاة والسلام على نبيه ونجيه وحبيبه وأمينه مولانا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى والصلاة والسلام على أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين المنتخبين المنتجبين الهادين المحديين سيما فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء الأعلمين اللهم بلغ مولانا الإمام الهادي المهدي القائم بأمرك روحي وأرواح الأعلمين له الفدام أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته Hope you all guys are doing perfectly all right would be happy and would be the special blessing and mercy of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Being here is not an ordinary thing for us. Being here to learn something, to teach the knowledge of deen, to be here in the gathering of the knowledge is a special blessing and gift of Allah. When we are sitting here, we are not sitting here alone. Allah says that when you people sit in the gathering where do you learn something, where somebody is teaching something, all the countless company of malaika, of angels gathered together and just surrounds you and started to seek malfira, forgiveness for you all guys. Most of the people, most of the time we say that the time has passed. We could not learn things in our childhood. Now we are as a parent, don't have time to do anything. We can't make ourselves better. We can't do our tarbiyah. So this is the best platform for them. This is the best time for that. 
Imam Ali said that the light is enough for those who want to see. Right? So, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Allah that Allah is a master, is the friend, is a provider of all those mu'mineen who really are mu'min, Allah extract them from the darkness and put them into a light of hidayah, of rushd. Really, this is the best ever chance to get closer to Allah. And that's why we are here. That's why we are making ourselves trained for the reappearance of Imam Zaman. Inshallah, let's start our lesson of today. Jazakallah, Ali Mahafiza, Rabia Fatima. For your convenience, we have divided our class into sections so you can learn more easily, insha'Allah. So let's begin our lesson. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Best way, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. For a Tajweed lesson, we have types of mud today. In last class, we learned about the type of mud that was Madde Asli. And there were three elements of Madde Asli. Yaya Sakina, Wawe Sakina, and Alif Sakina. Alif, uh, Yaya Maddi is considered when we have Zer or Kasra before Ya. Wawa Maddi is considered and stretched when we have Adumma before Wow and Alif uh, Maddi is stretched or considered when we have uh, Fatha before Alif. Okay, now we are going to go for the next type that is Madde Furu'i, means derived mud that has been derived from these Maddi letters. This is really easy. Okay, first have a look on what we learned last time. We learned these three types of Haruf e Maddi and we practiced it very clearly that whenever we have Kasra before Ya, we stretch it by saying He, He. Okay, in the same way when we have Alif, right after a Fatha or Zabar, we say A, B. Okay, and when we have A, a Vau, Vau Sakina, right after Aduma or Page, we stretch who, who, hopefully that you all has practiced it. Now let's go for the next type that is a part of Madde Furu'i. The first type we are having here is very important. We are seeing that this is Madde Lazim and this is stretch up to four to six harakats, right? And uh, what is the sign and what is the identification of this mud is inshallah by learning all this lesson at last you will be able to recognize the letter which should be having mud and if the writer of the book haven't shown the mud there you will yourself know that where to put the muds okay so the first type is maddilazam that is being stretched for four Two six alif, right? How much alif? Four, two. Can you write six alif? Right. So, what is the identification? The identification is whenever the tashdid or a sakin, a shadda or a, a sign of sukun comes right after any huruf e maddi, either is alif e maddi, wow e maddi, and ya e maddi. You already know what is alif vow and yaya maddi so whenever we have tashdeed shadda or a sign of sukoon right after a huruf e maddi or any huruf e maddi letter we stretch that up to six alif and do maddi lazim here so let's have a look on the practice i have collected from Quran so we can practice it so please practice it with me and read right after with me or along with me to make yourself more better in Tajweed inshallah okay so let's practice Hajj fi 
ها and ألف ألف coming right after a فتحة so it's ألف مادي so and right after ألف مادي we are having a تسديد we stretch it ها جو ك so it's another واو مادي here see واو is coming right after a دمة or a page so we are stretching it as well but we are not stretching it as a Maddalazim. Okay, we are stretching it very small. Hajuka. We are stretching it on a shorter pose. Next, read along. Wasofati. Okay, so this is not a part of a Maddalazim, but we, uh, uh, this is also a kind of Maddalazim. Okay. Wasofati. Oh, yes. Right after Alif Amadhi. We are having a tajdeed on swad, so we are stretching. Yes, this is a part of Madjil Azim. Okay. Now, uh, here we see we are having meme, a tajdeed, a mushaddad meme, right after to Alif. To Alif is Alif Amadhi here, so we'll say up. Uh, you would be thinking that why are we, I am putting Aleph on, uh, you know, Fatha on Aleph, that is before Ta. We are putting here because whenever we have no sign on the previous letter and still we have Tashtid or Jazam on a letter, what do we do? We put the same Harkat on the previous letter. Which Harkat we are having on the word with Jazam or Tashtid, right? After to stretch it for Madhilazim up to six alif, six harkat. Ato matu. Now, did you notice something? We are having a tashdid on mim. If tashdid comes on any other letter, we just you know stretch it and read it normally. But here we are having tashdid on mim, having tashdid on mim. And noon make things to do. Runa. Did anybody notice this? If you notice this, that means you still remember our last lesson. So whenever we have meme and noon with shadda, we do runa. Stretch first. Then makes your lips join for runa. See, joining the lips. Mm, my two. Okay. Let's go for next. Lavalune. See, right after Alif and Maddi, we are having a testid. Lavalune. Lu is also being stretched because of Vavu Maddi. Okay, so we are done. So now we have 10 minutes for our lesson. Our lesson is, as you know, the part of the third, the fourth part of Hadith Kisa. We'll be trying to focus all the rules we have learned previously. Either it's Ghunna or it's Huruf uh, Maddi or the kind of Madde Wajib or Madde Lazim. So we're trying to impose all the rules here and follow them. Uh, you please recite with me loudly if it's possible for you. So you may... Uh, contrast my voice to you. Okay, let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Faqala Allahu Azza wa Jalla. Right here, we are having Qaf Alif as Alif Maddi and Lam and Lam. Before the word Allah, we are having Fatha, so we are bolding. Pur karke, we, are, we need to read. Faqala Allahu Azza wa Jalla. Yamala, you see the uh, mud there. This is another type of mud. Inshallah, we'll be reading it in future in next class. Okay, still uh, it's Alif and Maddi. Lam Alif. Alif is coming right after Zabar, so we are stretching it. Ya yeah, is also Alif and Maddi. Okay, Yamala, Ika T. T. So we are having Ya right after Akasra. Can somebody tell me what is this? Mm -hmm. This is Yayi Maddi. 
ya malaikati baya alifamadi sukana alifamadi samawati alifamadi dan alifamadi dan ya ya madi inni ma khalaqtu sama am qulna am mab qalqala mab anybody knows qalqala can someone write what are the letters of qalqala what are the five letters of qalqala mm -hmm. yes write in the comment box i'm reading it sama am mab niya you can stop it here or if you want to you know mix it or match them so the uh, the thing is you know, the way is mabniyatan wala ardam qulna ardam mad qalqala madhiya okay i stop here i don't want to mix here wala qamram muniran wala shamsam قلنا مضيئه ويا يا ساكنه after كسر اب يو وود بي سينج ذات ذير از نو ساكنه ذس ذيس ابس ار ديزاين ان ذا واي ذات وين وي هاف ا يو نو سكون ان سم ليتر سو ذي دونت مينشن ذا سكون اتس انڈرستوڈ ذات ذس ذير از ساكن هير سو ذس از يا يا مدي مضي اتاو wala falakai not falakai falakai yadur wala bahrai yajri qalqala yajri so ya ya maddi wala can somebody tell me la is which maddi alif maddi ya or waw maddi write it okay yes this is alif maddi ولا فلك يسري الا في محبتي هؤلاء لا اذا الف مد دي ستريتش تو 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 الف اي تول يو ان ذا لاست ليسن لا الخمسه الذين هم تحت الكساء فقال الامين جبرائيل يا ربي ومن تحت الكساء فقال قا الف مدي عز وجل يا اوكي عز وجل عز وجل لهم مهل بيت النبوه ahlu bayt i'm doing iada I, i i thought that i stop on a wrong place so i want to continue from the back letter previous ahlu bayt nubuwati wa ma'dinu risalati hum fatima fa alif madi fatima tu wa abuha not abuha abu waw madi because we are having waw after a dhumma means page abu ha wa ba'luha wa banuha anu can somebody write which rule is it nu ha yes it's waw madi we stretching it banuha فقال جبرائيل يا ربي تأذن لي أن أهبط إلى الأرض ط إلى الأرض لأكون معهم سادسا فقال الله نعم قد عذرت لك try okay in upcoming lesson we'll be telling you about the clear and very easy way to pronounce the letter in the perfect way means the maharaj al huruf somebody tell me which rule is it ami me ya is coming right after a kasra so this is ya yamadi 
Aminu Jibro Jib Kalkala Jibro E E Can somebody write which rule? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Yamati. Jibro E Lua call a salam while a kaya rasul Allah Al Ali Jul Absi Lam. Before lam, I have nothing to connect the lam with. So I put the fatha there. If there was tajdi, uh, you know, tashdeed, I put the same harkat what I have on the tashdeed. But it's sakin, we have no choice. So we put here a fatha. Al Ali yul ala yuk yuk. Can somebody tell me which rule is it? Huh? Yuk yuk. Can somebody write in the comment box? Yes, yeah, this is Khalqala. Yuqri'uka salamu wa yakhussuka bit-tahi. Ab here, people question us that it's not tahiyyati. Because here, again, we are having yaye maddi. Because in tashdeed, we have one sakin and one harkat. So if we have a sakin here, yaye sakin coming right after a kasra. So we are stretching. بِالتَّحِيَّةِ تَحِيَّةِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ وَيَقُولُ لَكَ إِكْرَامُ وَيَقُولُ لَكَ وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِ إِنِّي مَا قَلَقْتُ سَمَاءَ أَمْ قُنَا أَمْ مَبْنِيَّةِ Stop it here, right? وَلَا أَرْضًا مَدْحِيَّةٌ وَلَا قَمْرًا مُنِيرًا وَلَا شَمْسًا مُضِيَّةٌ وَلَا فَلْكَيْ فَلَكَيْ okay. فَلَكَيْ يَدُورُ وَلَا بَحْرًا يَجْ يَجْ Can somebody tell me which rule is it? يَجْ Yes, it's Kalkala. Yajri bala fulkai yasri illa li ajlikum wa mahabbatikum. Not muhabbat, it's mahabbatikum. Wa qad Kalkala. Adhina li anna dukhula ma'akum fahal ta'adhanu. فَهَلْ تَأْذَنُوا لِي يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Okay, can somebody tell me that the word Allah is being read boldly or softly? We are having a dhumma before Allah. So we are reading it right in the comment box. Boldly. رسول الله وعليك السلام يا أمين وحي الله here we are having Allah very softly very smoothly and flat tongue وحي الله نعم قد أذنت لك فدخل عجبرائيل معنا تحت الكساء فَقَالَ لِأَبِي إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ قَدْ أَوْحَى إِلَيْكُمْ يَقُولُ إِنْ إِنْ غُنَى إِنَّمَا مَا يَفْمَدِ يُرِي Can somebody tell me يُرِي It's يَا يَمَدِ إِنَّمَا يُرِي يَمْبُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَا لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمْ رِجِسَ رِجِ قَلْكَلَ رِجِسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطْحِرَكُمْ طَطْ قَلْكَلَ طَطْ حُرُوفِ مَدِّي يَيَّ مَدِّي طَطْهِرًا صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ Jazakallah, Alima Hafizah, Rabia Fatima. Alhamdulillah, we are done with today's lesson. Now we have some questions for you all so that you can learn better, inshallah. You will see questions on your screen. 
Please write your answers in the comment section below. After a few seconds, we will give you the answer and you can check if you got the correct answer, inshallah. So let's get started. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So our first question is, when we have blank sign before the letter Ya, we stretch it and we call it ya -e Maddi. So let's start the timer, inshallah. So is it A, Kasra or Zair? Is it B, Dhamma or Pesh? Or is it C, Fatha or Zabar? Please write your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We have about 10 seconds left now. About 5 seconds. So let's see the correct answer, inshallah. So the correct answer is A, Kasra or Zair. Now let's move on to question number two. Our question number two is, whoever fast on blank days of every month will get the reward of fasting for the whole month. Let's start the timer. So is it A, first, three? Is it B, first, 15, and last? Or is it C, last three? So which days of the month? We have about 15 seconds now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. We have about five seconds now. Let's see our correct answer. So our correct answer is B, first, 15th, and last day of the month. Now let's move on to our last question. So question number three is, according to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sitting in a gathering of knowledge where people are learning or gaining knowledge for blank hour or hours is superior to finishing the whole Quran. So let's start with the timer. So is it A, whole day? Is it B, two hours? Or is it C, one hour? We have about 20 seconds now. Please keep writing your answers in the comment section. We have about 10 seconds now. Less than 5 seconds. Let's see the correct answer. So the correct answer is C, 1 hour. Thank you so much everyone for participating. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Surely this is the path which leads you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. Now we can go to tamreen which means practice. Together we will practice those words in hadith kisa where we commonly make mistakes. In a few seconds you will see the words on your screen and Alima Hafizah Rabia Fatima will read those words and we can all practice with her inshallah. Bismillah ta'ala. I have uh, seldom received your recordings, but still the words having some uh, problems, some tajweed issues. So we are here to practice together so uh, we can overcome all the mistakes. Bismillah rahman rahim Okay, so difficult words from Hadith Akitha. Let's uh, recite with me. Mubi because I'm stopping, so I'm saying ah. Otherwise, you can say muzi atan. Okay. So ya ya mabi muzi atan was tarat lahum read was tarat rat not rat 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 was tarat lahum 
مدحية ولا مد قال كلا حي يا يمدي because we are having a hidden سكون ده حي ولا ألف مدي ولا بعثني يا يمدي بعثني ث بالحق if you stop here بالحق there was بالحقي جمع هنا جمع من read along hmm. جمع من loudly read along محموم it's واو مدي محموم read along hmm. now next she Can somebody tell me which rule is it? Quickly, write on the comment box. She, ya is having kasra or zair before it. She, atuna, na should be stretched. She, atuna, was tuafani, ya yamati, was tuafani, bir risalati. Ra should be very soft because ra is with only zair. Berisalati sa alifamati, or if you want to stop berisal. Jazakallah, Alima Hafiza, Rabia Fatima. Now we will end the class with some questions that we have received from you all. Before we start with the questions, I would like to let you all know that you can ask your questions in the comment sections below or you can email us at imam -e asar Academy with any questions, comments, suggestions or feedback that you have. So, inshallah, you can find all the details in the description box below. So our first question for today is from Nazish from Islamabad, Pakistan. Her question is, if someone has a habit of being jealous, how can they get rid of this habit? Jealousy is not itself harmful for a person who's doing it, right? You know, apart from, you know, having complex in yourself, uh, you know, thinking bad or trying the plans against a person you are being jealous of. It is itself a sin. Why? Because in this way, we are not agreed with the adl, with the distribution of Allah. And this is the part of shirk -e sarira right? When you do the jealousy, when you jealous, jealous of someone, that means you are against the faith of adl, that is the usul of deen, that is the root of deen. If you are not able to stand on the root of deen, then how can you talk about the fruit of the right? right? So it is not itself a disease. It's not, you know, only harming a person whom he doing, whom he or she is doing. This is really a sense itself because we are not uh, agree with the distribution of Allah trying to harm our mu'min bhai. Uh, now, how can we get rid of this? You know, many people are so uh, considered or so, you know, uh, you know, sensitive about this issue that yes, we have this jealousy, jealousy issue. How can we get, right, uh, get rid of this and how can we cope up on this issue? The first and foremost thing is by the hadith of al by this first you have to be shakir, thankful. Full. Try that whenever you see that uh, one of your brother is having some blessing, some gift from Allah, any uh, you know, any gift from Allah, you should always see the people below you, right? You see the people who are deprived from the blessing you have. So look at them and say, Allah, I just thank on all blessing I have. Number one thing is shukr, means thankfulness, okay? Be thankful on what you have. Number second thing is dua, right? When you see someone is having something special, some achievement, uh, so you do Allah, that Allah Ta'ala, thank God that my brother is having this blessing, uh, you know, this successful thing, this uh, achievement. I pray to you that I ask the same thing and more better thing from you for myself. Second thing is dua. 
And third thing that is the best um, uh, thing among all the points that is being given from Mawla Ali Nahjul Balagha. He says, فَإِلَّمْ تَكُنْ حَلِيبًا فَتَحَلَّمُ فَإِنَّهُ كَلَّا مَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِكَوْمٍ إِلَّا أَوْشَكَ أَيَّكُونَ مِنْهُمْ Imam Ali Maqam said that if someone does not have a particular habit in him, in his self, he can just pretend or adopt that fakely. He can just pretend to have that habit. Imam said it's really happened that if someone pretend to be some uh, to be someone or pretend to accept some good quality of a person or of a community, and it's really be done that it does not get the quality itself. Right. So if we pretend to do something uh, or either if we have, I'm not teaching you the munafiqat. It's a real and amazing thing that has been researched by so many psychologists as I am a, a really a part of it. So uh, this is that if you have uh, no, if, if you don't have a habit like that, you just pretend to have that habit. Eventually your mind starts to accept accept the things uh, like for example if your brother uh, or your sister gets some achievement go to him go to her and just hug her and say oh wow i thank to allah that you are having such a good blessing such a good achievement and you know appreciate his or her in front of people in this way your mind your being start to accept his or her achievement yes then in the same way your your mind your heart become peaceful and then you can eventually by and by get rid of the disease of jealousy subhanallah subhanallah jazakallah alim hafiza rabia fatima and thank you so much nazish for your question now our last question for today is from Swaleha from birmingham her question is my husband earns three thousand pounds in three weeks we take out one fifth of my husband's salary for homes every three weeks. I'm concerned if we are taking out enough homes. Please help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّمَا غَنِمْتُمْ إِنَّهُ خُمْسَهُ لِلَّهِ وَلِلْرَسُولِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that whatever you get from the ghanimat, the wealth from ghanimat, what is ghanimat in our language? whatever you save throughout the year. Yes, we have to understand the homes is not monthly thing. The homes is, a, is an early thing. And on that things you preserve or you save whole year. For example, if I save some money, some, some dresses, some gold and anything on the date from January. Okay, and uh, uh, most of the people in my society, in my house, is taking out homes on, uh, uh, you know, uh, October. Okay, but here you have money since nine months, but still it hasn't completed the one year. You have no homes on it. Once it completed one year, and right after one year, you still don't have any kind of any kind of work from that, now the homes is wajib on that thing. And once if, for example, that is 5,000, right? And 5,000's fifth part would be 1,000. So you take out the 1,000 uh, homes from that money. So once you kept out or you took out the homes from a specific thing, now it's okay for the whole your life, right? The homes is always taken right after the year is completed and only once on one thing, right? If you have taken the homes from a thing, now you will never be able to take out the homes on the same thing again, okay? So this is the five, fifth part of anything. You must complete your one year. And the thing is, once you have taken out uh, the homes from something, you will never need to take out the homes again. Zakala Ali Mahafiza, Rabia Fatima, and thank you so much, Swaleha, for your question. And thank you so much, Ali Mahafiza, Rabia Fatima, for being here with us today and for taking out the time for this necessary deed. I'm also extremely thankful to all of you for being here with us to learn to better yourselves and for supporting us.
Lastly, I would request all of you to please subscribe to Imam Asar Academy's YouTube channel. Please share our videos with all your family and friends so everyone can benefit, inshallah. As you all know what the Holy Quran says, وَتَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى And help each other in righteousness and piety. We will end our class with Dua Imam Zamana and we will all read together, inshallah. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرزك توءا وتمتعه فيها تبيلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم في أمان الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته आ जाए सरहा ने महजी या महदी